Uh, what's up, guys? Uh, you know, I'm not usually in my energetic mood as I usually do in my other videos. Because, you know, my, this is not a happy video. This is a sad video concerning a very um serious topic. Believe me, this is unedited. All the raw uncut. This is the raw uncut. So, yeah, this is the one. So, I am... Um, found out that something really awful is happening to our brothers and sisters living in um, Canada. You know what that is? Apparently, they are consumed by an ideology which we call LGBTQ. Like here. If you are in, if you are someone from the generation, you must understand it. It is apparently a, a community to a group of people whose sexualities are not straight. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And the awful thing is that Muslim student has been told to get lost because he did not celebrate Pride. Yeah. Let me say that again. A Muslim student. Uh, and then was told to go home because he didn't want to celebrate pride. Now, how awful is that? But, but, but pride too. Uh, and also, there was a kindergarten pride parade, which is really awful. Uh, we should let kids be um kids, right? Um, well, um, prior to that, uh, there, there was a way we could have prevented it from happening, but we could not. The answer was that stop being... Proud. That's all I'm saying. If you were to conform like the rest of us in this world, like the rest of the other seven billion people, then I am. Um, this wouldn't have happened. We started off as um, a party, a celebration that we held every year, Pride Month. However, now it's literally world dominating. So I am. Um, here we go. This is my um, phone. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to um, show you this video by um, National Post. Yeah, sure. Canadian Pride celebrations. You show up, have a Bud Light, listen to some 90s era house music, and see rainbow floats commissioned by major financial institutions. There's never previously been any controversy about such celebrations being mandatory until the school system got involved. Up until 2018, you rarely even saw the rainbow flag flying outside Canadian public schools. Now, schools across the country have leaned hard into Pride celebrations. Drag queen guest speakers, craft projects on gender diversity, or just get the kindergartners together for a miniature pride parade. This is causing some backlash with Chris. You know what? Yeah, that was it, guys. Now I do. I uh, um. I really advise that you should have had a bucket next to you because this is disgusting. Like the kindergarten children. Like, come on, guys. They don't even know. They're even struggling to learn what their multiplication is. Like, how could you be so barbaric? And for the Muslim child one, yeah. Now, I couldn't even find that video, but um, yeah, you get the point. Like, we could stop being proud. Like, what is there to be proud? We should be like, I'm gay. And we should be like, so what? Like, yeah, guys, do not get me wrong. This is no personal attack to any of my LGBTQIA plus subscribers out there. But, um, yeah. You know what? Why are they even called LGBT? LGBT stands for let's get biryani tonight, you know what I mean? Well, yeah, jokes aside, the, the alphabets are being too proud. That's the issue. I'm not saying to stop, to, to, to stop being LGBTQ. I'm not asking you to seek God or something like that. But I'm just telling you to stop being proud. That's all my calls. That's all I'm calling for, okay? I'm not telling you to stop your... I am telling you to stop your celebration because it is getting really annoying. It's really um, offensive to some people. And if you truly support diversity, multiculturalism, and harmony, you will you will be you will be with the you will be on my opinion, okay? And to all my Muslim brothers and sisters in the world, I stand with you. As a person, I stand with you.